I'm speaking with today the first round pick of the Swift Current Broncos, 14th overall. That is, of course, Matt Ward from Kamloops, BC. Matt, how has how has the start of this season been for you in the COVID-19 era? Uh, it's been pretty good training-wise, you know, getting to the gym as much as possible and, and obviously getting on the ice as well. Um, yeah, just, just getting bigger and stronger as the days go by. Well, you had a tremendous season last year, 34 games played, 19 goals, 45 assists, and 64 points. You're on a line, or you played on the same team as Connor Bedard, who you'll end up playing against in the Western Hockey League. What was it like for you to go from playing against Connor a year before to playing with him? And what do you think that uh, you helped him develop and he helped you develop his players? Yeah, I know he's obviously an unbelievable player on and off the ice, you know, can't say enough good things about him, but, uh, you know, me and him, we had good chemistry on the power play and, uh, you know, we were, we were two guys that really helped out our team offensively last year. Well, you're one of the few players probably or younger players who's able to skate with him or skate better than what he can skate. You're a tremendous, um, setup man as issued by the 45 assists you had last year where do you think you got your hockey iq from and how did you develop it uh up to this point yeah i, I think it just came came with me i played uh defense as a yeah i think it's p i moved to forward and uh you know ever since then i think i've just been a just been a playmaker i see the ice pretty well um yeah so i think that's just where i get it well, last season you got your first chance to go to a Western Hockey League training camp with the Swift Current Broncos. What was that experience like for you being, you know, 14, 15 years old, coming in and playing against 20-year-old players, 19-year-old players, guys that have been to NHL training camps before? Yeah, no, it was definitely an eye-opener, you know, just to see, you know, get a feel for the, uh, you know, the speed and, and you know, how, how they uh, go about their business. But, you know, really took a lot of that uh, camp and hopefully translate it to this year. And you not only got to go to training camp, but you also played in a regular season game. What do you remember about that game? And is there, is there any moment that sticks out to you as, wow, I like I'm here now. Yeah. You know, when they are singing the anthem, you're just thinking about it, you know, it was in Kamloops, my hometown. So, uh, you know, I can't thank uh, Swift Current for, uh, for allowing me to do that enough. And, you know, it really took a lot of that game. Um, as you prepare for this year, you know, um, some players are playing with junior A or junior B team. Some are playing U18 AAA. What are you doing right now to stay, stay fit, to stay healthy, to continue improving as we get ready for the start of the season? Yeah, I'm just, just sticking with my uh, training on and off the ice. Haven't really got into too, too much uh, gameplay here, but uh, that could change any day here. Um, yeah, but right now, I'm just training as much as I can. And when you're training right now, what's one area of your game you're trying to develop? Uh, I think off the ice, just 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 uh, getting stronger, you know, uh, anything to help that uh, transition go as smoothly as possible. And that transition is coming up quick, but outside of hockey, let's transition away from the rink. You know, is there a Netflix series or is there a movie that you've just been binging lately that you just can't get enough of? Uh, probably Prison Break. I really like that show. Oh, throwing it back old school and outside of the rink again. What's your favorite hobby to do away from the rink to take your mind off hockey? Uh, maybe just uh, probably shooting basketballs in my uh, backyard with my family, playing some games. Shooting basketball. So you're a big basketball fan as well. Uh, yeah, kind of. Who's your go-to team and your favorite player? Uh, I don't really, I don't really have a favorite team. I'm just, you know, play for fun. And play just, for fun. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day. I hope school's going well. You're staying healthy and you're staying fit as we get ready for the start of the season. Yeah, thank you.